In this video, I will be pitting Hermitcraft up against Mayanite. This is the comparison of the ages to find out which is truly the best Minecraft SMP. I've done Dream SMP versus Hermitcraft and Dream SMP versus the Epic SMP, and now it's time to find out which is better, Hermitcraft or Mayanite. And also, if you like this video, you are giving me more views because YouTube will promote this video more if you hit the like button. So you have the power to help me, and I'd really appreciate if you did. And now, the comparison. So per usual, I'll be covering five different categories and giving one point to each SMP for a category that they win. I got my SMP research degree here, I'm certified and legal, so now finally let's get on to our first category. The members category, possibly the most heavily debated one of all, but honestly, in terms of members, I'd say the main difference between the Hermitcraft members and the Minite members are actually the amount of players that are on their servers. While Hermitcraft is sporting a respectable 24 members, Minite has an astounding... Four. Well, they actually had around 15-ish members, but the reason I say four is because there's really only four truly active main members. But in my night's defense, although they had four active content creators, they actually did have NPC-type characters that were controlled by server operators, so at least it made the world feel more alive. And talking about my night, it's worth mentioning that only having four members really created a unique dynamic in the server that gave the my night members a close bond, especially considering a lot of other SMPs tend to add more and more members as time goes on. But flipping the topics, if you wanted highly skilled Minecraft content, no offense, but you probably weren't going to get that on Mayanite. Because let's just say Mayanite had a bunch of noobs. But while Mayanite members weren't very mechanically skilled in Minecraft, the Hermitcraft members are almost the complete opposite, with a bunch of pros running rampant in the server, building huge projects anytime they get the chance. And those projects aren't limited to just builds, they also include highly advanced automated farms, redstone projects, and much more. The Hermits are the pinnacle of what you can achieve in Minecraft. But while they definitely have skills, I wouldn't say they are the most flavorful in their personalities, usually keeping things family friendly. Which don't get me wrong, it isn't bad, it just alienates a whole group of people looking for more mature content. Now this category is really hard, but I think the winner of the members category goes to Mayanite, just really due to the unique dynamic between the four main members and their slightly more mature tone. And after that decision that surely pleased everyone, let's move on to category. Category 2. Everyone loves a good storyline and a category to accompany it, and for this one I'm going to start off with talking about Hermitcraft first. Now, Hermitcraft doesn't have a traditional storyline that you would expect from an SMP, but rather it has short stories that are very loosely planned and mostly improv, and it really seems like story is pretty far down on the Hermit's priority list. And there's nothing wrong with that, but for those who are looking for a story might be a little disappointed with the Hermitcraft's lack of one. But if you're looking for a good story, look no further than Mayanite, because Mayanite I honestly might have the best story of any SMP, even rivaling the likes of the Dream SMP. Mayanite had different factions that the members could join, and each faction they would join would affect the story in a different way. I mean, Mayanite even goes as far as to have literal voiceless admin-operated characters join the server just for the sole purpose of driving the plot. And it doesn't just stop at characters. Massive buildings would be built by server operators while the members were offline, just for them to wake up and find a huge structure that then had something to do with the story. I mean, they went all out on the My Night story, and it's definitely their most shining star. So I think it's pretty obvious that the winner of the storyline category goes to My Night. Fun fact, if you said the name of either of these SMPs, you just said the name of either of these SMPs. So you definitely want your name saying experience to be a good one, and that's what I'm going to be talking about on Category 3 starting with Mayanite. Now much like the Dream SMP, what are you supposed to call the members of Mayanite? Maybe Mayanitians? I would say Mynetians, but that name is already taken by a Mayanite spin-off series called Mynetian Isles. But nicknames aside, I do think one cool thing about Mayanite's name is the fact that it shares the same name as one of the main factions on the SMP. SMP. But if you look over to Hermitcraft, they're having a whole party with their name. I mean, the SMP is called Hermitcraft, and they call themselves Hermits. I mean, what more do you need? I'm already sold. So I'm gonna name Hermitcraft the winner of the names category. Uh, okay, j just move on.
Now the last in this category is a little different this time because one of these SMPs didn't actually last, and that would be Mayanite. You see, Mayanite ended on, I think, good terms back in 2015. It did have a short spin-off series in 2020, but I'm only talking about the main Mayanite series for this comparison. But to be fair, while Mayanite did end, it definitely didn't end due to a lack of popularity. I mean, one of the biggest memes among the Mayanite members' channels today, especially Captain Sparkles, has been the infamous question, when's Mayanite Season 3? So so it's safe to say that fans definitely want more, but due to several reasons, they've yet to, if ever, make a My Night Season 3 as of making this video. But if you want a Season 3, 4, or even 7, then Hermitcraft has got you covered. Because not only does Hermitcraft currently have 7 seasons, but they've also been around for a whopping 8, almost 9 years as of making this video. And that's truly breathtaking. I mean, the fact that a group of people could be interested in a server for that long is amazing. Now granted, they haven't been playing on the same world for that whole time because every season the Hermitcraft world does get reset. And that is also the case with My Night though. But it's still amazing how Hermitcraft not only still entertains the Hermits, but also entertains the Hermitcraft viewers as well. So because Hermitcraft has already been around for so long and is keeping people entertained, I have to say the winner of the last in this category goes to Hermitcraft. Everyone wants their favorite SMP to stand out from the rest, and thankfully the special features category is specifically engineered to point out these features, starting with Hermitcraft. Now Hermitcraft is completely vanilla, with except a couple of little tweaks that generally help the server's enjoyability. But the specialty in Hermitcraft doesn't come from mods or data packs, but rather what the Hermits themselves do differently on the server. I mean, you could just take one look at Hermitcraft and immediately identify it from any other SMP. From its towering structures to its insane redstone automation, you could see the Hermits really made this world their own. Especially when you take into account that they even built their own shopping district, where Hermits could go and buy and sell things from each other. I'd say that's all pretty special, but now let's talk about Mayanite. Now while Season 1 of Mayanite was pretty much all vanilla, Season 2 decided to shake things up with mods. And they didn't go easy on the mods either. They completely changed the look and feel of Mayanite from top to bottom in Season 2. But mods aren't the only unique thing in Mayanite. They also had weekly purges, where for a certain amount of time, once a week, all crimes except for a few were completely legal and mostly encouraged. It was all out chaos every purge, and it added a fun thing to look forward to every week. But now, it's time to announce the winner of the special features category. And since the score is currently 2-2, whoever wins this last category is the winner of the whole comparison. Here we go. The winner of the special features category and the whole comparison is... Mayanite. Okay, hear me out. Due to the fact that Mayanite had weekly purges, mods in Season 2, and not to mention the unique faction system that determined the outcome of the story, I think it deserves to win the special features category. But that's just my opinion, and you could agree with me or not. Just like how I disagreed to being forced to make this video, but, you know, things happen.